Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Charlie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious New Orleans crawfish pasta. This recipe serves eight or more people and it is absolutely delicious. One of my favorites. So let's get started. Here is all what you will need to make your New Orleans crawfish pasta. You will need one pound of authentic Louisiana crawfish tails and optional one pound of Louisiana boiled crawfish and along with that you will need 32 fluid ounces of heavy whipping cream shredded parmesan cheese unsalted butter and one pound of rotini pasta for your seasonings you will need a bunch of green onions garlic, Tony Sachery's Creel Seasoning. Now if you don't have this you can use the Zatarain's Creel Seasoning or the Slappy Mama Creel Seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Perdome's Seafood Magic and some cayenne pepper. And there you have it. Chop a small amount of green onion Make sure you chop the ends to your green onions as well. Here I have three cloves of garlic. We're going to chop that up until it's minced. Here we have a crawfish here. We're going to start by removing the crawfish tail off of the crawfish head. We're going to take the crawfish head and place that into a separate bowl. We're going to peel the crawfish tail going to peel the first three sections of it and once done you're going to pinch the back of the crawfish and just pull the crawfish tail out simple as that now you're going to take your crawfish tail and you're going to place that into a bowl along with your one pound of crawfish tail preheat your fire to medium high heat here I have two and a half quarts of water into a large pot let this come to a simmer. Add a half a pound of your rotini pasta. Give this a quick stir. Let this simmer for eight minutes. It's been about eight minutes now and our rotini pasta is now done. Turn your fire off. Add your rotini pasta into a strainer. Rinse your rotini pasta with cold water. Preheat your fire to medium high heat. In a large saucepan, add three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Spread the butter along the bottom of your pan. Let the butter melt. Add a half a cup of your chopped green onion ends. A half a cup of chopped green onion. And one tablespoon of chopped garlic. Stir all your ingredients together. Now let's add some seasoning. Add one teaspoon of Tony Chachere's Creole seasoning one teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome Seafood Magic and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Stir all your ingredients together. Add three cups of heavy whipping cream. And optional, add your crawfish heads. Give this a quick stir. Let this simmer for four minutes. After four minutes, turn your fire down from medium high to medium low heat. Remove your crawfish heads. 
add a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese and your one pound of Louisiana crawfish tails. Stir all your ingredients together. Cover with lid. Let simmer for five minutes. It's been about five minutes now and our crawfish pasta sauce is now done. Turn your fire off. Add a half a pound of your cooked rotini pasta. Fold the pasta into the crawfish pasta sauce. Let this sit for about 10 minutes before serving. Quick tip. Your crawfish pasta sauce will thicken as it cools. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it. New Orleans crawfish pasta. If you like my channel, you can subscribe to it. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes as well as contact me or donate to the channel. Visit www.charliecookandrews dot com. You can also like, follow, or contact me on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's taste test is coming up next. Ah, now it's time for Charlie's taste test. This. Mm. I love crawfish pasta. Mm. Mm -hmm. The pasta is nice and creamy. Then you could taste the crawfish along with all the seasons that we added. Absolutely delicious. Mm. I'm telling y'all, try the recipe. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, take care and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.